This was the, the place where the, the, the most scary snap, as it were, was taken. Uh, so in the keep, in the castle behind me, uh, there was a ghostly figure that was up in uh, one of the openings there, and, and that was the one that 40% of the public said, yes, they thought that was a genuine ghost. Uh, we're just going to have a look at the photograph now, and it is fairly scary, isn't it? it it's a great photo, as I say. I mean, 40% uh, of people thought that uh, was evidence of ghostly activity, and there's this rather strange woman standing up there. Now, it is an area uh, that is open to the public, but it's not quite clear to me uh, whether that's a member of the public standing there who just looks rather bizarre, or it's a trick of the light. Uh, we know it's not Photoshop, so we know it's a genuine photo in that sense. Now, are you glued to Most Haunted every night? Yeah, no, I'm afraid I'm pretty sceptical about ghosts, so the vast majority of the images that were sent in, we could come up with a normal explanation. Lots of them were orbs, which we know is just uh, particles of dust being reflected by the flash. So it's not like I believe in ghosts, I'm just fascinated by the psychology of the science of it, and that's why we're having the one-day event at Edinburgh Science Festival, to really look into this in a lot more detail. We're going to look at another couple of the photographs. This is uh, one of a car wing mirror, you know the one I'm talking about, obviously. We're just going to zoom into it. How do yeah. you explain that one away, then? That, that's really quite tricky. Um, it could be a, a photoshopped version, uh, but I think what's happening there is we're seeing the reflection of the headrest, and we're really good at seeing uh, faces. Uh, our brains are hardwired to do that, and sometimes we make mistakes. We're sort of seeing faces where they're not there, and I think that's what's happening with that image. And the next one we're going to look at is a shadowy figure in the woods. This is a, a photographer who's out walking with his children and his dog. Uh, we'll have a little look at the close-up. Yeah. What do you make of this one? Oh, I love this image. And again, this just shows how good we are at seeing forms and figures around us. I think all you're looking at there is an arrangement of the leaves and the, uh, the trees, but because we're just looking for forms all the time, you see the kind of ghost there, the miniature ghost wearing the, the uh, dark glasses. So again, just showing the psychology of it. Then we've got one which is uh, taken on a beach of a ghostly image. Once again, apologies to the yep, man with the cagoule. <laughs> yeah, this is a great image. It was taken up in uh, St Andrews, again, up here in Scotland. And uh, there it looks like this shadowy uh, image standing in the water. In fact, when you zoom in, you can see it's the indentation of the rocks and the, the shadow that's casting in the water. So for that one, we definitely have an explanation. It is just a trick of the light, but a fantastic photo. And the last one we've got uh, uh, a sort of well, slightly inebriated couple they look personally, but there's a sort of ghostly image standing next to them. Yeah, this was taken one o'clock in the morning, so you're right about uh, perhaps being a bit uh, worse for wear. And you can see from the blurring on that image, it's a long exposure. I suspect what happened is somebody did walk in front of them, they just didn't notice that person until later on when they look at the image. So we're seeing lots of different reasons why people would look at a photo and go, my goodness, this is amazing, there's something ghostly here. We think for the vast majority, perhaps with the one exception of the, the one that's taken in the castle here, we have normal explanations for them.